this video claiming to show an eagle snatching a baby for real? Or is this just another high-flying hoax? I've got the answer to that shocking animal attack video, plus the answers to a whole bunch of other crazy photos and videos that you guys sent in. Like this picture claiming to show a storm cloud apocalypse over the seas of Australia, a photo claiming to show a bizarre tattooed fish, a photo of what looks like a whale swimming into town after a hurricane, a shot of a strange animal that looks like a mutant cross between a rabbit and an ostrich, and to top it all off, a photo claiming to show the biggest dog in the world. This show is gonna have more twists and turns than a giant Lego man, so don't go away. <laughs> Hey guys, Bill here. You know, the internet is filled up with all sorts of strange photos and videos for us to look at. And a lot of them make you wonder, is this real life? Or is somebody trying to turn my brain inside out? Well, that's what you got the Real or Fake Show for, to help you keep a firm grip on reality. Here's how it works. You send in the pictures and videos, we check them out, and then send you the answers. And who knows, you might even get an official Bill's Channel shout out and see your name up on the screen. So fasten your seatbelts and strap on your truth detector helmets because it's gonna be a very bumpy ride. Number one is this photo of what looks like a giant red storm cloud. It was sent in by Larissa Nickel who writes, Bill, is this a real storm cloud? Well, Larissa, if it is real, it looks like it might be something that was taken on Mars because it looks like something from the red planet to me. I'll have the answer for you at the end of the video, but right now, let me know what you think right up here. Number two is this photo claiming to show a fish with what looks like some kind of crazy design tattooed onto its skin. Robert Mendoza was the first of many, many Facebook readers to send this in, and Robert just asked, hey Bill, can you check this out? Something doesn't seem right here. Well, Robert, we've seen quite a few ocean dwellers with crazy patterns on their bodies, but a tattooed fish would be a new one on me. I mean, how would you even get a fish to sit still in a tattoo chair? But seriously, could a person really print a mysterious design on the body of a fish? Or is somebody getting fancy with the Photoshop again? I'm gonna be consulting with all my experts to get the answer on this one, but in the meantime, why don't you consult with yourself and let me know what you think right up there. Number three is this astonishing photo sent in by Chris Fagan. Chris says, I just came across this picture on Facebook posted a few days ago, and I'm assuming it's a recent picture of a flood caused by Hurricane Matthew. But I'm wondering, is this picture for real or just another big fat fake? Well, Chris, it is true that Hurricane Matthew was a devastating Category 5 hurricane. It caused immense damage to parts of Haiti, Cuba, Florida, and the Carolinas. But was it strong enough to cause floodwaters so deep that a whale could swim down Main Street? You never know these days with all the climate change and stuff. What about this one in Venice? Okay, well, that's a fake, but this one isn't. It was found pretty high up a shallow river in Alaska. No joke. Okay, now that you got all that information under your belt, are you ready to make your decision? I think you are. So just go ahead and do what you do right up here because I'll be waiting. Number four is the Bill's Channel Weird Animal of the Week. Idalina Mahmoud sent this in and asked, Hey Bill, is this thing real or fake? Well, let's see. It's got the ears of a bunny rabbit, the face of a mouse, and the legs of a miniature kangaroo. To be honest, if you want my opinion, I think this thing has just as much chance being real as that photo that was sent in by Ethan Cohen last week. But then again, I could be wrong. So let me know what you think right up here. Ah! 
And now for our final entry. If this photo turns out to be real, it'll be proof of a gigantic dog big enough to give Clifford a run for his money. The photo was sent in by Facebook reader Anna Owensby, who wants to know if this dog is real or fake. Well, Anna, truth be told, when I get asked questions like that, I'm like a dog after a bone. I mean, I can assure you, we are gonna get to the bottom of this daunting doggy mystery. But while we're doing that, I've got something for you to do. And that is, how did you guess? Okay, guys, did you make your votes? Good, because now we're gonna open up the official answers and see how you guys did. This photo that claims to show a gigantic red storm cloud is real. It was originally posted on the website of the Australian newspaper, the Newcastle Herald. The cause of this so-called red wave was a combination of wind and rain that kicked up rust-colored sand and dust into the air and that forced the cloud of debris, and then it all blew out over the ocean to create this unbelievable photo. In regards to the fish with the tattoo, the answer is just a little bit tricky, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna read the official answer here verbatim to make sure we get it exactly right. Ready, here we go. The picture claiming to show a fish with a tattoo has been examined. Our research indicates the picture is real. However, any claim that the fish has been tattooed is fake. Okay, so it's real and fake at the same time, but it's a little bit more of a mystery than anything else, don't you think? But don't worry, I got the answer. The original photo was posted by a Filipino news organization called GMA News. It claimed the fish was caught by a fisherman named Lopez Jaina. There was a lot of speculation on my Facebook page as to how exactly these strange markings came to be placed on that fish. A lot of people thought they were caused by the fish coming into contact with trash or plastic. But it was Facebook reader Carol Silesi Escada that provided the crucial clue that led us to the truth. Carol pointed out that these photos also aired on a Philippine news show called TV Patrol. That important piece of information finally led us to the smoking gun, which is this. A photo of the fisherman who caught the fish wearing a t-shirt with the exact same pattern on it. Now, what happened was, the fisherman wrapped the fish up in his t-shirt and a chemical reaction between his t-shirt and the fish's body left a reverse imprint of his t-shirt on the fish's body. Say what? Now about this whale who looks like he's on his way to pick up a pizza, this would be a whale of a story if it was true, but it's not. Although Hurricane Matthew did cause some record-breaking flooding, the water in the town where this photo was taken never got deep enough for a whale to swim in. And sharp by Facebook reader Amar Ash Siddiqui found the original picture without the whale. Wow, nice one, Amar. And with all that evidence, I think it's safe to place this picture in its own special category. A special category I think you know, so say it with me, you ready? So, so fake, fake, it's, it's funny. funny! Now what about this animal with gigantic bunny ears that hops around like a mini kangaroo and makes chirping noises like a bird? This couldn't possibly be real, could it? Well, actually it could be. This cute little hop skippity guy is called a Jeroboa and he is 100% real. Jeroboas are found in desert terrain throughout Northern Africa and Asia. Their gigantic ears give them excellent hearing and they can hop at speeds of up to 24 kilometers per hour or about 10 miles per hour. Okay, so let me see if I got this right. It's a miniature kangaroo with giant bunny ears. Okay, I'm good with that. And now for our final question of the day, is this a real photo of the largest dog in the world? Well, if you said yes, I have to inform you that you are barking up the wrong tree because this picture is nothing more than a big fat fit.
Although we were not able to find the original version of this photo without demand, if you look closely, it's pretty clear that this is a second-rate Photoshop hack job. As Facebook reader James Amon Braza Monakil and many, many others pointed out, the man's foot is floating in space, not even touching the ground. And where's his other leg? Inside the dog? Bottom line, the dog is real, but he's just a regular sized dog with the man pasted in there in that way to make the dog look huge. Hey, we've never seen that before. Okay, well that's about all the time I have for this video, but hey, if you're thinking about clicking away, I would not do that. What about that video with the eagle that swoops in and steals the baby? You remember that one? Well, I have the official answer on that, which I'm going to give you in just a few seconds. But first, I want to send out a big thanks to everybody for sending in their photos and videos. Also want to send a big thanks out to my researchers here at Bill's channel, the Chewy Piranhas, and all my helpers on Facebook for solving all these little mysteries. And hey, don't forget, if you've got a picture or a video and you're not quite sure whether it's real or not, send it in to me at billschannel at gmail.com and I'll take a look. Please don't leave links or suggestions in the comment section because the only thing that happened is that they're all going to go into this black volcano with this voice from inside booming, you're driving me crazy! See you next time. Now, as far as this video is concerned, it turns out to be fake. Internet hoax-busting site Snopes.com revealed that it was created by students at Montreal's National Animation and Design Center. After the video went viral, the Design Center posted a message letting everyone know it was just a school project and assuring Montreal residents it was safe to take their kids to the park. Oh, Canada. See you next time.